Hi, this is Mr. Ye. Today I'd like to record uh, how do we find the um, sine or cosine or all the trig function of an angle. So we're trying to find, for example, I'm trying to find um, this question here. Let me use uh, different grids. Um, let's use medium. So now we are trying to find, let's say we're trying to find sine of 135 degree okay sine of 135 degree and you say okay we want to draw out, out um, the grids here and I'm going to draw it out here okay and we said we want to know 135 degree so first of all let's start with here is zero degree um, is zero degrees here, and here's ninety degree, and here's one hundred eighty degrees, and you're gonna use this a lot, so it's gonna be two seventy degree. So then we're gonna say, well, it's one hundred thirty five, so it must pass ninety. So it's gonna go here, and pass ninety here. Okay, so you're gonna not gonna stop here. You're gonna keep on going. How many degree more? Well, we know here is 45 degrees, so we're going to say, well, we're going to go another 45 degrees, and that's going to be my right angle. Okay, that's going to be my right angle. And remember, form your, right, uh, your reference triangle using the x-axis. So, using the, you must use the x-axis as base of right uh, reference triangle this reference triangle reference triangle okay base of this reference triangle and uh, so this one is gonna be as we know here is um, this data is 135 degrees <clears throat> but we don't care about this angle here we actually care about this angle so what is the degree of this angle we know this part here is a 45 degree because 180 subtract 135 so this one is going to be 45 degree and um, same thing as this side is also 45 degrees as well okay so if you know that's 45 that's 45 so you must know this side is ratio of 1 this side is ratio of 1 and this side is ratio of square root 2 so actually we find out the coordinate of this part the coordinate of this part is actually uh, negative 1 and 1 why is it negative 1? Because here is the distance of 1. So you say, okay, well, we're going to say hypotenuse is always positive. So then, then you're going to use, says, you're going to say, well, we want to find the sine of 135. That's equal to opposite over hypotenuse. And if the opposite at here is going to be 1 over hypotenuse is square root 2. And that's equal to my uh, equal to square root two times square root two. That's equal to two square root two. And it's going to be positive. However, if you want to try to find a cosine of this angle, you have to be careful. Cosine of this angle is going to be adjacent and over hypotenuse. Well, adjacent here is going to be adjacent here is going to be negative uh, 1 over square root 2 so your answer here is actually negative square root 2 over 2 after you rationalize it so there's actually a negative sign over there you have to pay attention so what this comes down to is this um, if you find a coordinate of this point right here okay here is going to be negative 1 and 1 
So in the future, you can actually use the other definition of sine, cosine, and tangent. You can actually use this definition. It's probably a little bit, for me, is how I remember it. I never remember what's hypotenuse and adjacent. So I can actually use this. Y over X cosine of theta is going to be, oh, sorry, not Y over X. Um, it's going to be um, Y over R. R means the, the radius. Um, this one's X over R. And sine of theta is going to be Y over X. Okay. Um, CSC of theta is actually um, R over Y. SEC is actually X um, R over X. And the cotangent is going to be actually um, X over Y. So this is a new definition of this, in which is R is always positive. R is always positive. But X and Y could be negative, okay? And how do you get R? R square is equal to X square plus Y square. So it's like what you have in Pythagorean theorem, except it's just different notation now. We're going to use the hypotenuse as R. So then let's look at a new question and just look at it in terms of Y and R or X. And maybe that's an easier way to look at it. So then you're going to look at this. You say, okay, um, I want to find tangent. And this is one of the homework question that I think everybody have issue with. Um, tangent of, um, that just says, um, mm, um, negative, um, let's say, 11 pi over, uh, let's say negative 5 pi over 6. Okay, so this one is a little bit trickier. If you look at this one, you can actually draw out your um, the Cartesian coordinate. And if you draw it out here, it's actually um, 100 you say it's 5 over 6 pi and now it's 9 degrees so you have an issue you say okay what is a negative 5 pi over 6 we want to convert to uh, the degree so it's pi radian over 180 degree so some of you guys actually multiply the top part and I don't do that because I see here 6 and 180 I can cancel out uh, level 30 Pi and this one will cancel, so it's going to be 150 degree. <laughs> okay, uh, radian will cancel out also because there's radian on the top. <clears throat> so you say, okay, what is tangent of 100 negative 150 degree? So it's going to be negative 150 degrees. Now you're going to pay attention. What does negative mean? Negative is actually going this way. You go in around here. You say, okay, well, it's going to go around here. It's going to go around here. That's 90 degree, negative 90 degree. But instead of go all the way down, we know that's 180 subtract 150. So I right hear we can actually find out what is the degree of this triangle. This triangle here, it's actually 30 degrees. And make sure when you form your angle, make sure you use that as a base. Um, you use the x-axis as base and use the origin and that x-axis is the data. So in this case, data has to be what? Well, we know the full circle is 150 degrees. And so from here to here is, uh, from here to here is 180 degrees. But um, we only go into 150 degrees. So that's be 180 plus 150. So this left with 30 degrees here. 
So you say, okay, well, a uh, hundred. This one is left with thirty degrees. So if that's a thirty degree, this must mean one, and this must mean sixty degrees, and this must mean square root three, and this one's square. Uh, this one's two. Okay, but which one's a negative? Um, well, I know this coordinate here. The coordinate here is actually, um, um, it's actually a square root of three, square root three, and uh, negative one. So actually, the coordinate of this point right here is this a negative square root of three and negative one. So that is my coordinate. So what is tangent of that? Tangent of that is equal to y over x. Or is equal to, we say, opposite over adjacent. For now, I'm going to use y over x because that way I can tell my negative signs. Um, so I here, I'm going to get y is going to be minus 1 going to be minus 1 over square root of 3 minus so it becomes a positive so um, then it's going to be 3 square root of 3 positive and I here it's actually getting positive but both value is a negative um, so that's um, that's one thing that you need to uh, find out uh, if it's positive or negative and I using x and y in this case because that's the way in some ways easier for me to see and that's how I learned it okay so that's just a true review question I want to go over and hopefully you have no hard time to do in the homework